Temperatures are some of the coldest we've seen since that outbreak that we had during Christmas weekend. Not going to be quite as cold as that. Wind chills have been getting down into the single digits here over the past hour, and it looks like we're going to continue to see that through tomorrow morning. But a rapid warm up expected later this weekend. Wait till you see the temperatures on the seven day forecast. Right now we're at 18 in Baltimore, one degree above zero out in Garrett County. Over in the eastern shore, we're looking at 18 in Easton with a northwest wind that's not as strong as it was earlier, but it's still sustained at about 10 to 20 miles. Miles an hour, and there's still some gusts over 30 even occurring at this hour. You can see almost a 40 mile an hour wind gust down towards the district, and about 30 miles an hour here in uh, Baltimore as well as Annapolis. And that's creating wind chill now down to zero. Wind chill zero in Elkton, three in Westminster, 11 below out towards Oakland and Garrett County, and 10 is what it feels like in Annapolis. So we're expecting again those temperatures as we go through tonight. The wind chills continuing into the single digits. They should come up a little bit here as the winds relax later on tonight, tomorrow morning as the center of high pressure moves across our area. So we do expect improving conditions, but overnight low temperatures, single digits for Bel Air as well as Westminster, 11 out towards Frederick, looking at 13, 14 degrees here in Baltimore, and the same thing for Annapolis and over on the eastern shore, we're looking at low to mid teens as well. This is a generational. Arctic outbreak for the New England area as they're seeing temperatures there well down into the single digits to zero with wind chills running 30, 40, 50, 60 below zero. As a matter of fact, Mount Washington in New Hampshire, one of the most hostile environments on the planet, recorded this evening the lowest wind chill ever recorded in the continental United States of 106 degrees below zero with wind gusts of 120 to 130 miles an hour. So that kind of gives you an idea of the brutal. Uh, the brutalness, so if you will, of this Arctic outbreak. High pressure though will start to slide away from our area by tomorrow afternoon. We'll get a southwest wind here beginning tomorrow afternoon and continuing through Sunday, so we're going to see a substantial warm up. Not so much tomorrow. We'll get to right around freezing here for highs here on su Saturday afternoon, but by Sunday, we're looking at highs near 50 degrees, and then it looks like we're going to be well into the 50s here for most of the next week. Here's your Saturday forecast starting off in the morning into the low to mid teens. We're going to warm up to around 30 to 32 here during the afternoon with mostly sunny skies. Again, Sunday, upper 40s and lower 50s. So a huge turnaround here for later in the weekend with a mostly cloudy sky. That alert day for tomorrow is mainly for the morning for those low wind chills. Should get better by afternoon. Lighter winds, 51 on Sunday and then. Look at that. By late next week, we're looking at highs around 60 with chances for rain returning to the forecast. So a brief Arctic outbreak, but then looks like things start to warm back up. <laughs> That's so strange. All right. It really is odd, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you, sir. For more first alert weather and updated news, check in with Stefan Dingle, Miana Massey, and meteorologist Abigail Degler tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 6 a.m.